Check out those conditions. G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and this is the third time we've been out to North Morton Artificial Reef in a row. The first time we got kingies, the second time we got cobias. Who knows what we're going to catch this time, but we're in a rush. Look, we had every intention of getting out here at sunrise to give us the best chance fishing all day. Unfortunately, I slept in and it's now, well, two o'clock. Yeah, I know. So with winter, this means the sun's going down faster. It'll be going down about five, which if I do my sums right, we've got about two hours of fishing. That means two hours to catch us two big fat cobias, hopefully. Well, wish us luck. Let's see how we go. Let's get out there. Well, there's plenty of red on the sounder. Yeah, plenty of, looks like there's fish there. Yeah, that looks like real fish. Well, we were hoping to start off with a bang, but we've just had an hour of fishing with our limited time that we've got, and we hardly had any bites at all. There's no tuna action like there was the last few trips. It's looking pretty dead out here. Anyway, we're gonna have to try to persist and scan the bottom and see if we can find some more life, but even the things that we're seeing on the fish finder, they're not turning out to be much of a positive. So anyway, we'll keep looking and hopefully the later in the afternoon, we might get a few more bites and land something. Oh, good fish. What is that? Oh, it's a big grassy. That's a big grassy, yes. Oh, I've got to get the net. Yes. Oh, that's a lovely grassy. Wow, that's a rip ripper. Oh my God, finally the drought is over. Wow. Oh. We've that... been fishing here all afternoon, trying to get something to work, and finally, that's a good grassy. That's a massive grassy for us. That is beautiful. Oh, that's a ripper looking fish. That'll be great eating. Wow, superb. Obviously the bite has just come on. We've been trying for hours. There you go. Wow. Yeah, I mean, there hasn't been much. There's been stuff on the sounder, but there's been hardly any biting. Just in this corner of the mouth too. That one? What a ripper, that's a beautiful fish. We've been wanting to catch one of them for a long time. Yeah, and the one that this size is packs pretty good. Oh, you know? that's a great size. Good eating size. Oh, he's, he's bigger than the ruler. So he's bigger than 40. So we might need the brag mat. Yeah, about 50. 50. Yeah, right, right on, on the dock. Right on 50. Beautiful. That's a good. That's a very good fish. Yeah, happy with that. All right. Well, that's the first fish that we've caught today. We've had hardly any bites. It's been very scarce, but it's nice to finally catch one of those sweeties. We've been after them for a long time, especially a nice sized one. So we're not gonna go home empty handed. So let's dispatch this fella and maybe hopefully catch another one. Thank <laughs> you. 
Another grassy. Another grassy. Oh. All right. Nice. Well, I think that's a keeper too. Yeah. Not as big as yours. Definitely a keeper. But that was arsy. Another grassy. <laughs> nice. Let's measure it up. Put them on here. Yeah. Yeah, you won't need the brag mat for this one. 37? 37. 37, okay. Grass Emperor, 30 centimeters minimum. 30, all right, well, there we go. We're taking that one home as a nice panty because this might be, and it probably will be, the only fish that I catch today. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That's little as little can get. Yeah. It's that little tar one. Must be, eh? Yeah. That must be the things that are eating our bait. Yeah, I reckon. As little as little can get. Especially on a game hook. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to call it. As beautiful as it is out here, we don't have any night vision, so, you know, we don't want to get stuck out here as James feeds the birds. We don't want to get stuck out here and start trailblazing it in at night time and then hit a whale because it is the start of whale season uh, through this passage anyway, and we don't want to end up a casualty. So we're going to go back while we've still got some light and we can still see safely and get home, but at least we got two fish, James. Yeah, we got two fish. Uh, you can't complain. Still beautiful conditions out here. Flat like a pancake and, you know, you look at the water and you see your reflection. It's wonderful. Yeah, yeah, it is beautiful. And sometimes, like we always say, when we don't catch fish, it's not all about catching fish. It's about getting out, getting out there, having an adventure, having some fun, getting, getting out and doing things that other people can't do that they'd love to be doing. So we feel pretty fortunate to be out here in the bay, floating around in, this, in these beautiful conditions. Well, I think that'll do us. We've got two sweet lips. We're pretty happy with that. Nothing better than some sweet lips. <laughs> and uh, anyway, we'll wrap it up and make sure you give us a big fishy thumbs up and uh, we'll catch you later. Cheers.